Hi everyone, please pay attention. This is a very detailed and simplified timing diagram that will let you understand 100% how laptop works. So please let's dive in without wasting time. But please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And for anyone who want to accelerate learning, you can join me in my Patreon page. All links in the description. So let's begin with the step number one, as you can see here. Okay, so let's zoom a little bit. Okay. So here we have one over here, we have the power SRC. Okay, so this is basically the charger here. Here we have the battery and we have the plus V charger. Okay, the voltage coming from adapter and the battery. Of course, the voltage uh, could be coming from the charger or the adapter. Or the battery okay in both cases we gonna get the plus power src about 19 volt 18 volt 15 volt 12 volt 5 volt for some laptops anyway we called it b plus or plus power src okay then the second step once we get this power we have here plus 5 volt always to this voltage basically is not like this one the plus 5 volt always no this is a primary voltage okay this is a primary voltage sometimes it could be 3.3 volt but in this laptop the voltage is plus 5 volt so apply it to the power switch so this is number two number three we have power switch in okay once we press power switch here we will get do step number four 3.3 volt always on this is enable signal we have enable two for 3.3 volt okay so once we press the power switch number three we will get or the power switch controller will send this enable signal to the 3 volt 5 volt controller okay this is enabled then this controller will generate 3.3 volt always number five okay then number six we have another enable signals always on coming from the embedded controller or the super io goes directly to 3 volt 5 volt circuit as you can see as enabled and then it will generate plus 5 volt always so the first voltage that is generated is 3.3 volt down plus 5 volt always okay number six then number seven uh, the power control switch will send also the system power switch to embedded controller letting know that the switch is pressed we will get of course plus 5 volt always and plus 15 volt always plus 15 volt always of course just for some computers but for some other computers we have just 3.3 volt and 5 volt always so then number 10 as you can see here we have to do sas on this is enable signal here we have do you see here we have g means gate okay so the says on we are guys we are now in s5 state we still in s5 state okay so once this this is uh, the blue one here means enable signal of course coming from the embedded controller so then these two voltages will be generated as you can see plus 5 volt sas and 3.3 volt sas this is basically the input plus 5 volt always and 3.3 volt always the same as does that will be applied to this uh, controller or switch and the enable signals here the sas on is the gate here and then those will be transferred to sas over here then 13 we have rsm reset this is basically the bridge from s5 to other states so please pay attention we have rsm reset 13 and we have also the sas power ec okay 14 and we have the ac present okay this is conditions we have ac present 15 and we have sio power button okay sio power button after those signals we will pass from s5 to s4 do you see we have 17 as you can see sio sleep is 5 18 is i sleep is 4 is 3 etc now the the states are moving from s5 to s4 to s3 
means we will get the RAM power and the CPU power. Okay, let's see number 20. We have 1.5 volt DC, we have 1.5 volt SAS, we have DDR uh, VTT reference, and we have 0.75 volt DDR VTT. Do you see, guys? As I told you before, once we pass from S5 to S4, S3, okay, then we will get the RAM voltages. This is DDR, uh, this is for the RAM basically, and of course we have the power SRC. This main voltage is applied to all circuits, as you can see, we have here also uh, power SRC to us. We have also power SRC here, also power SRC here for this circuit. Also, this circuit power is RC, power is RC. So, all circuits should receive the main voltage in order to work to generate uh, other voltages. Okay, so then we have the RAM voltages is generated over here. Let's see 25. So, the empty controller will send the RAM on. You see, the RAM on. The RAM on basically means we will pass to S0 state where the CPU voltages are generated and all other secondary voltages. So 25, let's see 26. Do you see 26, 27, 28? We have 5 volt rare. The origin is 5 volt always. Here we have always. As you can see, here we will get RAM plus 5 volt RAM plus 3.3 volt RAM, 1.5 volt RAM. The same 5 volt, but we have 5 volt always. And we have, of course, 5 volt SAS in S3 state, S4 state, and we have here 5 volt RAM in S0 state. Then we have 29, okay, after 28, we have 29, 1.05 volt PCH, as you can see. Uh, here also 1.05 volt PCH power good. So this 1.05 volt, this is for transferring data, for communication between the PCH and the CPU. Without this voltage, uh, nothing will occur. No transfer data will occur between the PCH and the CPU. Okay. So I will continue because we here we have about we have 47 states. We have about 50. Uh, steps here I will continue with uh, the next basically with the next part for this video in order to make it simple and easier so this is the part one guys for this timing diagram very important timing diagram if you didn't understand what I'm seeing here you can repeat the video two times or even three times in order to master uh, how the, the timing, how the signals are generated, and what is the first one, what is the next, etc. So basically, you can ask me why, what is the purpose of analyzing this timing diagram? Basically, the purpose is by knowing the timing, the sequence, and the process of uh, generating signals uh, within a laptop and by understanding the process you can uh, easily figure out the problem means you cannot go directly and check the CPU circuit to find if there is a problem or not or the RAM circuit you, you have a process you have order that you, you have to follow if you want to troubleshoot uh, efficiently uh, any issue by uh, by uh, beginning from the power SRC here, then go ahead and check the power button, uh, etc. Okay, so thank you very much. I hope that you understand this part well. So don't forget to like the video, share, and subscribe. And as I told you, for anyone who wants to accelerate learning, you can join me in my Patreon page where you will find many exclusive content and where you can download many schematics for laptop including this one thank you very much and see you with the net with part two where i'm going to continue analyzing and giving you of course a summary of uh, this timing diagram thank you very much